Welcome to Eldora Speedway for the first ever Double E Cup Series Stop Motion Race on a dirt track. So welcome here to the Double E Cup Series Season 3. This is race number 8 out of 10 here from Eldora Speedway in Ohio. Should be a good race this afternoon as we got our 27 Gen 6 race cars ready to take on this short half mile dirt track oval. And this will definitely be exciting for these cars have never raced on dirt before so who knows what's going to happen. So let's take a look at our starting lineup. On the pole is Kyle Busch along with Paul Menard. And we have five times Jimmy Johnson and Clint Boyer. And we have in row three we have Carl Edwards and Mark Martin along with Greg Biffle and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And we have Jamie McMurray and Casey Kane, along with Denny Hamlin and Jeff Gordon. And we have Matt Kenseth along with Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And we have Juan Pablo Montoya. And in for Tony Stewart this week is Kyle Larson. Then we have Brad Keselowski along with Danica Patrick. And then we have Ryan Newman in the 39 and Austin Dillon. And then we have Joey Logano along with Martin Truex Jr. And towards the back we have Kevin Harvick and Eric Almarola. And then we have Trevor Bain and Marco Sambros. And rounding it out is the 31 car of Jeff Burton. So there's your field. Here's your race info. It's a 12 lap race around the short track. 27 cars. And this should be a good one if you haven't already seen it. Here we go, green flag in the air. Kyle Busch leads us to the green from the outside lane. He drifts around turn one, three wide for second. Jimmy Johnson slides into the middle there. Carl Edwards looking down on the inside. He slides up into the 48. They head into turn one now. Oh, and Johnson Carr goes around and he collects Mark Martin with him. Oh, and here on lap two, we have a first caution of the day. An early yellow here at Eldor, not too surprising. As look at the replay, it looked like Johnson was kind of stuck in the middle there and the dirt is not, the groove is not quite as nice there in the middle. And Jimmy, you saw it look like his car just wiggled and then snapped loose and he spun around, bringing out our first caution. Everyone else will restart now. Kyle Busch leading with Clint Boyer still on his inside. Boyer going to look for the lead here, but Busch is going to carry it into three. Boyer all the way to the bottom, but Busch gets that big run off. And now Edwards is going to look underneath Boyer for second. Here comes Dale Jr. He slides into fourth. Paul Menard coming through the middle now, going to try and take those positions away as Kyle Busch continues to lead here. Cars sliding around through turn two. As Kyle Busch continues to hold the lead over Clint Boyer. We're on lap seven. Busch still leading. Then Boyer, then Edwards, then Menard. That's your top four. And now there, there's Boyer stuffled into the middle there. And now, oh, Boyer goes around as well here in turn one. And he gets collected by Denny Hamlin. Another caution is out here on lap eight. Two Toyotas involved here. And similar to what happened to Jimmy Johnson... Clint Boyer had a little bit of problems on the previous turn and then getting into turn one here, he just, his car got really sideways. He spun around, looked like Hamlin was already committed to that inside lane so nowhere he could go. Everyone else is getting ready to restart here. With three laps to go, we're on lap 10. Green flag in the air. Kyle Busch has led the entire thing so far. Oh, now Edwards slides into the middle. Paul Menard looking after the third spot. Oh, and in the back stretch, there's a spin. It's Brad Keselowski. And he's into the inside wall. And the third caution of the day is going to come out here, this time for Brad Keselowski. Let's see on the replay, it looked like Kyle Larson, who's in the 14 this week, snapped up and got into the left rear of Keselowski and spun him around the back stretch. So a tough break for Brad. He'll be out of this thing. It'll set up an exciting finish here at Eldora. Here's where the field will line up, and we're ready to restart with two laps to go. And look who's leading the race on the front row is Kyle Busch and Dale Earnhardt Jr. And if you'll flash back with me here to the first race this season at Texas, these two were leading relatively late in the race. And on the way into turn three, they made contact and ended up taking each other out. That is a memory I hopefully both of them have forgotten. But if they haven't, this will definitely make for an interesting restart. And it'll be a green-white checkered here. So let's see what happens. Kyle Busch on the outside, Jr. on the inside. Green flag. 3-1-2. Ooh, Bush got run up into the wall a little bit by Earnhardt. As here he comes back for the lead. Edwards all the way on the bottom. Oh, Bush gives Earnhardt a, a, a nudge. 
into turn one now. Junior all the way to the bottom, and he slides up and collides with Bush. Half a lap to go. Two, three, and four. Bush tries the slide move. He makes it work. They're both in the wall, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. is going to hold on and win here at Eldora. Wow, what a crazy finish there. Last couple of laps. A lot of beating and banging. Take a look on the last corner. Look like Junior tried a slide job. Didn't quite clear Bush, but he hit the wall square enough that he was able to stay on course and take the win anyways. Kyle Busch probably not too happy about that one, but Dale Earnhardt Jr. sure is. He celebrates the win here in race eight. Congratulations to Evan DePaul in the 88. He gets his first career W Cup Series victory. And here's your final results. Gaming Ninja gets second after leading almost the entire race. Tough break for him. And we have Trey Normal third, a big boy fourth, and Car Racer 56 with the top five as well. Tough break for the 48 of Dylan Lander with his spin. That knocks him even a little further out of championship contention. He finishes 26th this afternoon, so a tough race for him. Now here are your point standings here on race 8. Evan DePaula with the win takes over the points lead. Trey Normile only two points back. Brock Johnson is only six points back though. And the top, you see top six or seven are still very close. So it'll be an interesting final two races. If you haven't already seen it, since this video was re-uploaded, um, race nine has already been uh, has already been posted, so you should check that out right after this from Martinsville. So that'll be a good one, the follow-up to this afternoon's events. But uh, thank you for watching anyways. If you hadn't already seen this video, glad you got to. Race 9, as I said, is already out. And uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed. I will see you later.